Ron Goldman's father has broken his silence in the wake of O.G. Simpson's death, as he claimed the NFL legend's passing is a further reminder of the loss of my son. Fred Goldman has spoken exclusively to DailyMail.com after the notorious murder suspect passed away age 76 following a short battle with prostate cancer. Simpson became one of the most infamous figures in America after he was charged with the murders of his ex-wife Nicole Brown and her friend Ron in 1994, before being found civilly liable for their deaths. Fred has now spoken out after the former athlete died surrounded by family at his home in Las Vegas on Wednesday night. The only thing that I have to say today is that this is a further reminder of the loss of my son Ron, Fred told DailyMail.com. It is a further reminder of my son's murder and a reminder about the many years we have missed Ron. His death is a reminder that Ron and Nicole were murdered by him. I am not going to react to my thoughts about him dying. He concluded, I have nothing to say about him. My response will not be about OJ's death, but about the loss of my son's life by him. Thank you for calling. That is the only thing that I have to say. In a statement later given to NBC News, Fred added that OG's death was no great loss. Despite a successful NFL career, Simpson was best known for his acquittal following his high-profile murder trial in 1995, dubbed the Trial of the Century. He was charged with the deaths of Brown and Goldman, who were found brutally stabbed to death outside her Los Angeles home. The circumstances around his arrest were equally salacious, with Simpson leading cops on a low-speed chase after failing to turn himself in. Millions tuned in to watch the 90-minute pursuit of Simpson's white bronco across Southern California, before his eventual arrest in Brentwood. At trial, prosecutors argued Simpson was linked to the crime scene through forensic evidence, but he ultimately walked free with jurors voting to acquit him. After being acquitted, Simpson went on to be found civilly liable for the murders, and was later forced to pay out $33.5 million in damages to the victims' families. He faced further legal troubles when he was sentenced to up to 33 years behind bars for armed robbery in Nevada in 2008. Commentators at the time agreed that the defense led by Robert Kardashian relied heavily on anger around racial bias, historically shown by the LAPD. A decade later, still shadowed by the California wrongful death judgment, Simpson ended up back in court charged with armed robbery. Imprisoned at age 61, he served nine years in a remote northern Nevada prison, including a stint as a gym janitor. He was not contrite when he was released on parole in October 2017. The parole board heard him insist yet again that he was only trying to retrieve sports memorabilia and family heirlooms stolen from him after his criminal trial in Los Angeles. I've basically spent a conflict-free life, you know, Simpson, whose parole ended in late 2021, said. Public fascination with Simpson never faded. Many debated if he had been punished in Las Vegas for his acquittal in Los Angeles. In 2016, he was the subject of both an FX miniseries and five-part ESPN documentary. I don't think most of America believes I did it. Simpson told the New York Times in 1995, a week after a jury determined he did not kill Brown and Goldman. I've gotten thousands of letters and telegrams from people supporting me. Twelve years later, following an outpouring of public outrage, Rupert Murdoch canceled a planned book by the News Corp own HarperCollins in which Simpson offered his hypothetical account of the killings. It was to be titled, If I Did It. His death was announced in a post shared on his official X account by his family said, On April 10th, our father, Orenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. The Simpson family. His death comes two months after it was reported that he was battling prostate cancer and undergoing chemotherapy.